Hi everyone, it's me QP83 and Barbie0913 and we have Monster High to show you. Wow, it, it feels like it's the beginning of the <laughs> YouTube series already. Is here. it 2010 again? Did oh. we go back in time? <laughs> because this is what we used to talk about all the time. Every video, anything that came out. You're right, it's literally what made the channel and the vlog a thing. <laughs> Uh, without Monster High, honestly, it probably would have shut down a, a long lot. time ago. Yeah. yeah, we would not be here. <laughs> no, no one would know who we were. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is Monster High, the 2022 version. And we, we managed to find three at the stores, and it's only been at Target that I've seen them. And they've had very few on their end cap. So we have Frankie, and we have Cleo, and we have Gulia. So we thought we'd kind of take a look at them, maybe compare it to some of the originals, and uh, I don't know, we can just share our thoughts on this new 2022 line. Right. I mean, you, you've seen it in the stores probably, you've seen it online. I mean, what do you think of them? I mean, first off, when I see Frankie, I just want to call her no neck. <laughs> she does not have a neck. It, and it bugs me, and I don't know why it bugs me, but it bugs me. I don't know. Maybe either. it's a tall body thing. Maybe, but uh, okay. yeah, I don't know. Frankie oh. just looks strange. Um, okay, and and first ideas on these guys, and then we'll open them up. Um, Gulia seems to be a very weird color. I don't know if I understand this green that she is. I don't like the color she is. No. <laughs> she should be like gray, more like grayish. I mean, Cleo, I don't mind, and only because her. She's got really bright, a bright face. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a darker tones on her, but it's still kind of looks like Cleo. It just doesn't have her fringe in front. I don't mind Cleo. I think she looks very similar to what we would have had 10 years ago. Yeah. But so, these two are kind of weird. So, yeah. And we haven't been able to find the other one, so mm -hmm. I haven't seen any at Walmart at all. No. And I know they were supposed to have some exclusives. Yeah, and I don't think we've seen the ones that are based on the traditional dolls yet at mm -mm, all. Mm -mm. All right, we have opened Frankie. We have a couple of different Frankies out here. This is the one which is open, 2022's Frankie Stein with the tall body. Um, so it's the new redesign of Monster High. And then we have an original Frankie right here. Um, so you can see the difference between the original Frankie and the 2022 version. And this is my least favorite of Frankie, the really hollow one that everything is painted on. Mm -hmm. Where they like inflated the head of the doll too. Yeah, so is she taller than her? She should be taller than all of these guys. Okay. Because she's on like the tall body. Uh, so things about this Frankie, she has a prosthetic leg, um, as you can see here. She has this strangely teal-colored skin. I don't know. It's kind of, I feel like maybe there were some Frankies that were released towards the end of the line last time that had a similar color. Something like that. Well, it was not this so much, but I don't know. Well, because like this one is different too. Hers is mm -hmm. just pretty much white. Right. This is very, like, very teal. <laughs> yeah, that's Laguna's color. Kind of, yeah. Um, all the details that they might have done with an extra piece like this piercing here, which I think some dolls actually had like a piercing yeah, yeah, yeah. in their mold. Yeah. Um, they painted it on, which is kind of cheating. Yeah, I, I, I like <laughs> that it really was molded on her Right, before. and this is just painted over her lid. Um, and she doesn't have, as my mom pointed out earlier, any mm, bolts on her No head. bolts. Whereas I like the bolts. This one has the bolts. bolts. Is it really that hard for them to put bolts on? I don't know. Um, the highlights are basically the same. Basically super messy. <laughs> There's very little uneven. rhyme uneven. to the reason. Uneven. Not messy. Uneven. Uneven. It's uneven. Like, this is very reminiscent of old school Monster High. <laughs> yeah. Like she would pay for a really bad job on it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Her face looks kind of, kind of inflated to me. Personally. I don't mind the blush. She has blush. It's okay. Mm -hmm. And her eye color is 
brighter. It's much brighter than the original. Yeah, this is, the green is really like green green, mm -hmm. and this is like uh, really light. Yeah, this is more understated, more got I feel like this is more like in the gothic tone of, mm -hmm. you know, this is a darker Monster High, and this yeah. is not like... I'm happy! <laughs> yeah, and it's not like the reboot that was the short-lived reboot where they were like really bright and happy. Yeah. But this is like in between that. <laughs> well, like this this one, she's got really... I think that was supposed green. to be like the pretty Frankie. <laughs> the pretty Frankie. Like when they tried to make them all like pretty. <laughs> See, and I like her with the dark lips on. Mm -hmm. I don't like the light colored lips on no. her at all. She, I, I don't. I don't mind the prosthetic like it. That's okay. I just don't get it. I don't understand. Why she There was no other human with leg that he could attach? Yeah. I don't know. I do like the shoes. The shoes are cool. They're big, big and thick. Mm -hmm. You said she felt funny. She, she is. Just, she feels kind of... I don't know what how to describe the texture of how she feels, but it feels different than it's like Monster a, High. Okay. If uh, you could say like it's like cold. It's like a cold mold. I don't know what, what you'd say. It just but I, feels I, I understand what you're saying. <laughs> because this it is it's there's something different about the way the plastic is made for that one it's mm -hmm. maybe it's more like a like a texture it's not a texture but you, it feels like it's a texture right. on it and this is like i don't mind the body size i don't mind the change in the body mm -hmm. okay. i can i definitely prefer obviously the original yeah, with how so they did I. the stripes but it's better this one is better than here where they didn't even paint the bolts on her leg <laughs> like they're they're there the stitches the stitches yeah but this is like they 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 put them that put them out there they and this tried. one was molded they did, but they didn't paint it this one is just lines on the stitches mm -hmm. and then this one's got more like artistic flair to it silver yeah. stuff going on um, so I do prefer that sort of element, but it's nice that they kept some of this. Um, the skirt is cute. I like the skirt. Yeah. It's a two-piece outfit with a sweater. Uh, it's a pretend sweater. What is it? Oh no, it's a separate. Mm, it looks it's like a separate. separate. So she's got layers on. That's nice. She yeah, I, I like that. She did come with a ton of accessories too. So we have the backpack, which it's not like the backpack we're used to. Um, but you know, but it nice does accessory. open. It, it, I will give it. It opens. We have her dog wants it. We have glasses. Oh. She has this little what I thought was a charm. Um, so she has this little pizza charm. I, I don't know if it's supposed to be a charm. I, I still don't have a charm for her. Um, though. and she has Polaroids that say Boo York with some Monster High characters. I, I like, like that. The Bring, bringing that into it. Yeah. yeah, and then there's her friends, and then of course she has her her, her cell phone, phone her, her phone. coffin phone. Uh, so I do like the accessories that they gave them. They did gave them a lot. And it's it doesn't close. Like one time we did have the ones where it closed. Mm hmm And now it's just the straight one. But that's not bad. I mean that this isn't that bad. No, I think the accessories are fine. Yes. And like honestly, I don't hate Frankie. It's just I do prefer the what she looked like originally. Yeah, and when it started off, it was more that Frankie was the one in front. Mm -hmm. It was about Frankie. And then suddenly it became Draculaura show. Mm -hmm. And now it's Claudine show. Yeah, so it's really weird how they've done that. But how does hers even, oh, it opens like this. So hers, if you consider that, oh, that's supposed to be a lock. Oh, maybe that's what the that's... charm is for? No, because this you couldn't get on there. Well, that is weird. So if you know what that part is, let us know. Yeah. Um, but there, you can get stuff in there. She can get all her little stuff yeah, in there. Yeah, I don't so. mind the accessories at all. And I don't mind, I know, the the, the ones that came out had the emaciated body. Mm -hmm. But that's what you were looking at. You were looking at zombies and monsters. Right. And, so, to me, that was perfectly fine. Um, the first set of bodies, we have to worry about it when you're legs break off your doll, mm -hmm. how do you put it back on? So I really was happy when Create a Monster came out because yeah. then you could have fun and do things like that. Yeah, and, and I'm, fall out. that's what makes me happy that they're also like coinciding with this release, releasing ones with the like old school bodies because theoretically they should be like a Create a Monster body mm -hmm. and they should be the same coloring and that sort of thing. So if one of our originals did decide to fall apart, we just pop the head off and put it on that button, the new body. 
So if we take this offer, mm -hmm. let's see, does that make her look any better? Mm, no. You know, this neck thing is still slightly it's... concerning to me. <laughs> she just doesn't really have a neck. And All this right. happened to Kelly when she was maybe called whatever. Stacy? Kelly, Stacy? No, Which what's one? Kelly called now? Chelsea. Chelsea it yeah. happened to okay. Kelly slash Chelsea a okay. while. Um, where they just didn't have necks, and I think that's what happened. So it happened. Over. All right, Dolly nudity. Sorry, yeah. guys. Um, so if you, okay, she looks better that way. <laughs> she looks better half naked. <laughs> no, but I mean maybe yeah. she needs a V neck, something that's not the sweater with a big the collar, collar right. because she her bust is pretty high. Mm -hmm. It could just be the collar and her. Yeah, it's. I think it's my eyes pl just yeah. playing tricks with it, but. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, she looks so much better. And and she still doesn't look that much better. Let's see if we put that mm -hmm. there. Sorry, I'm obsessing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is it about her? This one is super cheap. It, oh, I, she's my least favorite. Like, she's the one that came with the uh, little um, uh, classroom desk. Uh, yeah, this one's ridiculously cheap. I think it has to do with she just needs more v-necks on. It could be. Yeah, yeah, the collar might just be pushing everything up a little bit and playing with your eyes like a trick of the... Yeah, the I eyes. mean, her her body's not bad. Uh, it She doesn't come with a stand, which I know the stands were really bad, but still having some kind of stand would be nice. Yeah. Something, maybe, maybe make a better stand. <laughs> I was at the point where I was going to glue all my stands together, and then I just said, oh, fine, they're just going to be, stay like the way they are. I'll just buy Barbie stands for them. Um, she is tall. She's mm -hmm. a tall girl. She does have a foot, too, inside her shoe with the prosthetic leg. Oh, does so she? she has a foot. Ah. There. Okay. She does have it. It's a jointed. One. It only is a pointed toe. Mm -hmm. So, which is probably the same for all of them. Yeah, but I mean the shoes are cute. They're not bad. I mean yeah. they're not the the one um, the um, Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein shoes. Those are really kind of cool shoes. Uh, didn't get that one. It's very sad about that, but it looked really cool. So I I like this. The only thing I don't like is that it's just printed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I think there's potential with this Frankie. I just think her coloring is really weird. Um, yeah, she shouldn't be this color. This is yeah. not her color. It's so strange. I prefer this color scheme. Um, and she can have, obviously she can have color because she's wearing the black and the red glasses or the blue and the red glasses, and she looks pretty cool. But yeah, I think this coloring is just a little weird. And she's got a belt on mm -hmm. here. And the inflated face was never something I liked on them, no. and she kind of has that going on. I mean, it just says Frankie on the belt. It's one piece on here. Yeah. And once you put it on there and you don't have this in the way, then it actually fits her. I so, mean, I don't yeah. know. What do you think? All right. Let us know one. in the comments. Next one. I, really, she needs the bolts. I'm sorry, but she does. Mm-hmm. All right. Who's next? Who's next? Um, oh, 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 this is perfect for Halloween. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so go girl. How about Cleo? Cleo. And I have a Cleo. I think this, wasn't this picture day? Cleo? Um, I think so. She was always cute. I like to put picture day. I tried to pull the ones that I like that were my favorite, except for the other one <laughs> over there. <laughs> it was really not my favorite, but I thought we needed her. Uh, okay. So, 2022's Cleo is right and here. I have no idea what time this one is. Um, so, I personally don't mind this Cleo. There are things I don't like about it, but I do like the colors of the hair. I think the colors of the hair go really well together. Now, my girl's been sitting for a long time, so now everything is outstretched on that part of her, mm. on her outfit. But, I mean, I like her, but... I still like the real slim mm -hmm. Cleo because it fits with the clothes that she wears. So you look kind of more like Nephra to me. Like, the she looks older like a sister sibling. of yeah. Cleo. Um, 
She's also got those funny little lines under her eyes, mm -hmm. the little scoop kind of thing, which is, right. I mean, ours didn't have that, but she had it in the, actually she has it in the back. Oh, this yeah, I part can kind of eyes. see that. And in the movie, they gave the character of Cleo this, like, yeah. weird sort of thing. But it's only on the one eye. Yeah. Which is intentional, from what I gather. Um, but I do think the lip detail is kind of interesting. The and silver on there. I like the colors they used on the eyes. It does still feel like Cleo. I don't know if I like just that one part of the lip with the color in it, though. I like her ears. Her ears are cute. Yeah, her ears are kind of cute. I was going to point that out, too. It's kind of <laughs> like elf ears. Yeah, they are. <laughs> That's what I thought, too. I was like, maybe because she's a, you know, an Egyptian sort of, like, maybe, like, because she's part of mummy, right? So, oh, like... the Sphinx. You mean the Sphinx? So, maybe there's supposed to be some sort of uh, inspiration taken from, like, the pointed texture, the pointed design of like a pyramid or, you know, Egyptian sculptures or things right. like that. Because it just, well, to me, at first I was like, oh, she's an elf. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it looks like an elf. I mean, this is cute. I like the little ha ha hair piece. Um, it, it's hooked in with plastic tabs, so if you're pulling her out of the box, there are tons of tabs on these girls' heads. Um, I have took something off of Gulia and now I probably won't be able to put it back on there, but you might want to keep that on there if you want her to look like she's pristine. Uh, what I don't like is the molded bandages, like, bandages the they wraps. gave her because they don't look like bandages to me. Like it looks like she's recovering from an accident. Yeah, it does. I don't like that. It's on her arm, it's on her leg, and I don't like the boots because I think it kind of accentuates kind of the leg I don't like, and also they it makes her legs look kind of odd. It makes her look, her legs look chunky. They are, they're plump little guys. <laughs> plump little legs. I don't, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't mind the shoes. I, I, mean, I will say, out of all the doll lines out there, I always manage to keep the, the shoes for Monster High because they're always so cool and I don't take mm -hmm. them off. So at least I have those. Everything else I've always lost all the shoes on. So I don't mind the boots. No, mm -hmm. This doesn't show anything like they were showing online. She's not painted really on her legs. No. Just her numbers. Mm -hmm. Her numbers are on the back of her leg. Her mole numbers. It is an interesting joint though. Yeah, it is it. weird. Like, <laughs> it's kind of odd. Maybe is that what a, um, a made to move Barbie's leg looks like from behind? Maybe know. they're using that same tech. I like the beading on this belt. I think this is cute, the top on her. I don't mind dress. Headdress, it. yeah. She's wearing clothing, which is more than you can say about some Cleos that they released back in the day. Now her hand <laughs> has the yeah. uh, cloth, too. I don't that, like it. Um, that aren't painted. Oh, no. It's just one extra step that they could have done. I like her hands. They don't her have, hands. like, polish or anything. No, they I guess they never polish. really did, but it would have been nice to see. So, putting them together, yeah, I mean, she's got dramatic eye makeup mm -hmm. on her. Her eyes and her hair, because I do think the blues and the dark the blues they used are, look really good. And I think the gold looks the really gold good. gold in there. And it looks like it's evenly placed. And it's not tinsel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, is this tinsel? Uh, no, I don't It's like so. a different, it's more of like, yeah. It's not like the foil that was yeah. in her hair. So, I do actually really like her hair. Okay, so that's those two. So there are good qualities. So for Cleo, we have the glasses, which seems to be a staple for all of them. We have her pet. We have like a cappuccino or a drink. We have this, which I imagine is supposed to be like a mirror or something. Um, oh, her it, compact. It opens. Mm -hmm. We have her phone, her, her fringe outfit here. Mm -hmm. And we have another one of these things I'm just calling a charm. It's like a taco wrapper. <laughs> like a, it's a cute taco. It looks cute. Yeah, and it has like the mummy wrappings. But yeah, I'm. it has to be like a charm thing. I don't quite understand this. Oh, did you see her phone? But it yeah. Is on the back? Her phone is very much like something you'd see in an Egyptian pyramid mm -hmm. uh, or an Egyptian museum's exhibit. And the, this purse, it's a nice purse. I still like her purse mm -hmm. because it opens like this. Yeah, I'm finding it very hard to open these things. Yeah, I thought 
thought about that too. Yeah, I'm like, I'm trying to open this. It's just her not her taco is cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good taco. It's got <laughs> tomatoes in it. <laughs> I just don't understand these food things. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they were doing the, the party, like the slumber party. Maybe. <laughs> I wonder if they will redo that. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what they decide to redo with the relaunch, with the new bodies, and what they decide to re-release with Here the old go. bodies. There's your comment. Oh, fun. It's got the colors on there. And then this one opens how? It's the same, like, that thing, I think. The lock. It has yeah. a lock on it. I don't know. I don't mind it. I don't mind the outfit. I don't mind the hair. I don't I mind the face. It. I just don't like the, like, molded bandage look. So, well, she yeah. didn't have it on, at all on, mm -hmm. on her prior body. And I never missed it because it was in her outfits and right. stuff. Like, I didn't miss Yeah, the that. wrap, everything always looked like it was a wrapping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So looking back at the animals, um, I had a couple of them in my box over here. And um, this is Frankie's original. And this is what it got changed into with the new line. I, I like the original better. <laughs> a lot of people have thought that these look more like Littlest Pet Shops than what they came originally. And then this one is Tut, but this is the new one, and this is the original, which is, mm -hmm. you, what was his name? Uh, his set. His set, so the Cobra, mm -hmm. which I like this one better. <laughs> well, I think what they did was made them look less scary looking like I think she has a really cool pet Frankie the original Frankie with the wings too and it also they weren't afraid to make it like not smiling and happy looking and this one like looks it does kind of look like a littlest pet shop <laughs> <laughs> and yeah and his set is definitely like dangerous looking right and this is less dangerous looking but it's so totally different and it's a totally totally different name right so okay some some maybe some poor character out there had this one as their pet, and they mm -hmm. said, "No, you're not going to be here. We're going to give you away." Could be. <laughs> so I don't have Ghoulias, which is, which should be an owl, and it is mm -hmm. an owl in this one, but I can't tell you what it looks like because I can't find my Ghoulias mm -hmm. friend. But I guess he does look. I'm happy. I'm a happy friend. Right, and I bet her owl looked similar. I yeah, don't think you can make change an owl to that extent. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on to Gulia, who is very many people's favorite Monster High character. Oh, I love Gulia. She's one of my favorites, definitely. Um, she's just she's just Gulia. I just love her. Um, the new one has changed her skin color. <laughs> um, Okay, this is her, <laughs> and it's it, it was interesting in the movie. She she didn't talk Gulia talk. She didn't talk no. zombie. No. <laughs> so that threw me for a little bit, um, and she was always uh, Cleo's little right hand person doing everything for Cleo. So I don't know that didn't really show in there. Not now in the movie Laguna was Cleo's yeah sidekick. her bestie. Um, I mean she's got. I like, okay, I like this. She's got the brain jacket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's inter interesting. I like that she has a hat. It shows a picture of a brain on it. Right. And he, back here is where it's got that one little um, tab that if you take it, then you have to play with her glasses to get them to stay on her head, which is fine. I don't care. I just didn't want another tab in her head. <laughs> um, this, I thought this was weird, the... The glow color it just doesn't seem like a color that Gulia would wear. The yeah. Pink. I just don't like her coloring. I don't understand why she's like mint green. I just don't. Get yeah. It. Oh, and, and the, the belt on here is a broken heart. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the brains. It's like a broken heart. Um, and it's got a, this zipper little thing yeah. on here, which, which is interesting, but it's not usable. Mm -hmm. It's just like glued to it so yeah I don't mind the brain jacket I mean they kept the blue hair which is nice I think it's very odd that she now has green skin her earrings are little um, tombstones because these are definitely shoes that any Monster High character could wear and in the past they would make things that were very specifically this is a Cleo shoe or this is yeah. a Julia shoe I mean this one looks like it's a Frankie shoe 
Yeah, it, it does look more Frankie like. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's a green skin that keeps throwing me <laughs> off. I'm just like, why are you, why are you glowing? <laughs> Sir Hood a lot. This is him. I didn't pull out my Sir Hood a lot to see if it's anything different than there, but I've got my box here. Um, funny thing about this. Well, not funny. I mean, mm -hmm. this actually does fit Gulia too. The oh. glasses. So you could put them on there if you wanted a smaller glass. And then it's got a backpack which is another brains thing, but it doesn't have a zipper that really works on no. it. It's painted. Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting an interesting backpack. I like the color. The color mm -hmm. matches, goes with her hair. And then this one you said was the... It's like a Polaroid camera sort of... It's like a camera bag, right? Oh. To me, it looks like it's supposed to look like a camera. Because there's the shutter, mm -hmm. the, the lens. Interesting. Right? Yeah, yeah. Unless yeah. it's supposed to be a weird face, which it's, it could also it be. It could be. She also comes with a, a game system, which mm -hmm. I thought was cute because that's actually kind of neat and it's the right size for her. Yeah, I'm glad they kept her in that sort of realm of like she Gamer could go girl. to Comic Cons and stuff because that was all her. And her brain puffs, which Ooh. are nicely done. Those nice. Are, and then her phone, which is, of course, brains. Um, so... I like that, but I mean, this to me is her, <laughs> and definitely in her Comic Con persona. Yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what they do with her if they keep her this color. Like, <laughs> well, they gave her real straight um, brows, mm -hmm. and the color. I mean, it's just like this bigger face. She's Basically. got the tiny eyes here, and the tiny face, and the chin. That juts out perfectly. Yeah. You know, Ghoulie is not my favorite in this redesign. Yeah. It's just, and it's sad because she was one of my favorites in the original. And like now, I'm not quite sure what I think of her. She comes with a skateboard, but That's I am cool. disappointed with this because it doesn't have like a peg or something that you can hold her on it. Yeah, so there's nothing to hold her feet down. Right. And. And he, they don't really roll as mm -hmm. well either. Uh, when you're taking it out of the package, though, these wheels pop off. So just know that while you're trying to pull her out of her box, you'll be hooking these back on. I mean, it's really cool. I mean, it's this logo on there. It's yeah, dead that, that is cool. So that we did keep that. Yeah, I think that is that's a really cool prop. So they did well with the props in here. They redesigned. I mean, the redesign is eh. Some things are fine, some things I just don't like. But but it is nice. I mean, I think they're starting out really slow first because it mm -hmm. seems like the store, like Target, isn't getting very much stock of them. Mm -hmm. And they are going really quickly. So maybe Mattel will say, okay, let's bring it back for real and just start putting stuff out. I mean, it's almost Christmas time. We yeah. need stuff on the shelves. Yeah, definitely. It's one of those that currently, if you see it, you should buy it. Especially even if you're shopping Oops. for... Um, Christmas or you know another holiday you didn't there's no guarantee it's gonna be on the shelf with how it's been so far like people are right. like either buying them or stores aren't getting enough of them right so pick it up save it until when you need it so I do I mean I, I like the hat the hat she's got to have more hats mm -hmm. and maybe that's what Frankie needs a hat maybe I don't know so I'm okay with the body that's not emaciated it's fine it's not a big deal. Right, because a lot of it, too, is it's about the face and, like, it is. other characteristics. Or, like, the molding on, you know, whether something is molded to look like it has, like, stuff on it. Which right. I don't like. <laughs> and, well, and, well, Guglia doesn't have any of that, yeah, so she, she doesn't have to worry about doesn't that. doesn't have to. Um, it, you know, if they made her glow in the dark, it would be cool. That would be interesting. They could do that glow in do the dark. Do zombies glow in the dark? I don't know. They don't necessarily talk the way she was talking on the, the movie <laughs> either, though. That's true. So now we're just waiting for the uh, cartoon to come out because um, that was just a teaser on online showing mm -hmm. that it was coming soon. So. I didn't dislike the movie. I thought the movie was fine. It wasn't that bad. No. It was like a Disney movie. It was like High School Musical. Yes, High School Musical, exactly. Monster High. Yeah, or the <laughs> other one. Um, the zombie one? The zombie one. So <laughs> it was... <clears throat> Excuse me. It was um, it was okay. It wasn't that bad. I mean, it, it's a movie. It's what an hour and a half movie. Right. Yeah. It, it doesn't take that long to get through it. It's just once you had that initial shock. <laughs> right. And you know that's the thing. Like, 
you could tell the writer had had done their homework because they had interesting little callbacks to the original yeah. line that like someone who had just like been hired for the project and had no idea what the line was like wouldn't have put in. So there were some interesting callbacks to things which I appreciated. And I'm fine with them revamping it for live action. Like they could be different characters. That's the whole fun of this. But like they had some interesting characters. It was interesting to see who they like brought out and like where the characters are now in this current world. Like how Cleo and Laguna, who had like three lines Laguna, um, <laughs> who is not Australian anymore. Um, like it was interesting to see how they interacted with other people and how Gulia was with all of them as the outsider still, sort of. Right. What was it, Heath? Heath, uh, the, yeah. I, I, I did like his fairy, fiery mm -hmm. skull. <laughs> yeah, Heath was in it a lot. And unfortunately, Holt will probably never be in this line, judging from the movie, because the whole thing was about like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, so I don't think we'll be seeing Holt or Jackson in this line. True. But we shall see. <laughs> so we're currently experimenting with some outfits because some people on the internet seem to think the old outfits will fit on these new dolls. Uh, Not saying you're wrong, but you might be wrong. <laughs> uh, well, I, I guess if she had a jacket on, a coat on, I mean... She's right? showing like all of her bits though. She, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a Monster High old original outfit. And, and like for create a, create a Monster, I don't remember whose outfit it was it's anymore. It's worth pointing out, it's not actually all the outfit in the <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Okay, there I am. Okay. <laughs> Now you gotta pull okay. it down as much as you can. So <laughs> when she wears it, it's like she's I don't know. <laughs> it's not it's a top. Her the dresses are no tops. At least on this, and that's not even on the Frankie who's on the taller body. This is on the Gulia, which I think is on the like not normal body, but the more traditional body. Well this this one might okay, it might be a half inch more on this one. I yeah, I, I don't think I they're gonna switch. I mean, it would be nice if they had kept it so that we could use, reuse the clothes we have mm -hmm. on, and they could swap and trade. I I like swapping and trading. Which clothes. we can do with the other ones that come out with like the this retro, kind of body. The retro, the yeah. retro body. So that would be interesting to reverse it and see. I mean, I'm assuming their clothing will fit on the the original line's bodies. I mean, it's a good thing it's stretchy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would probably not trust that the Monster High dresses would fit this particular Frankie, just because she is taller. It might fit in the waist, maybe, but I don't know. This is very short. Homecoming dress. <laughs> and you could say some of the shorts were, or some of the dresses were really short they back were, in the day. They were short, and um, they were short on the Monster Highs, too, on the original Monster High. So maybe it's fitting the same, and we've just forgotten. It's not bad. It does somewhat fit. It's just very short. Plus, she's got more hips. Mm -hmm. More, yeah. I, I. They better come out with some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> some packs that got extra have extra clothes. I don't know. But yeah. it, it is. It's. It's fun to be talking Monster High again, mm -hmm. though. I agree. I have missed Monster High being on the shelves because it's something to look for and hunt for. And it's just, it was a really fun line. It was fun, innovative. And Mattel... Until you know, they made they made it bad, yeah. Yeah, until Mattel was like, this is boring and we need to cut costs and stuff. But, and well, they overproduced our fault. it. Yeah, yeah they, they had their money spread out way too thin. They overproduced it. Yeah. And I know some people blame Ever After High for it, but I still... Can they reboot Ever After High? Because I miss that line, too. Well, that one, you don't mind that they have the little... No, their faces I thought were super cute. I mean, you could tell, like, I love the Ever After High faces. And I love the original Monster High faces. I just like the whole idea of them being monsters, and that was the fun part. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not going to go on you. How do I get that on you? And that they didn't have to be, like, pretty in a way that was, like, conventionally, like, I'm pretty and colorful, like... I have big bubbly eyes. I like. mean, that was the whole point. I'm a monster. Yeah. I'm this. I'm that. And and then they changed it again and again and right. again. But I thought that was the whole point the, the first time around. Right. That's why I like the original where they had some spice to them. 
Well, while you're naked, I mean, this is what the bodies look like. Yeah. I don't know. It's ghouly on that green color. It's a green color. I just don't get it. Don't you think it's pretty? Uh, maybe on a character <laughs> that doesn't have blue hair. <laughs> See, this one it would go nice and long. This would be... Yeah, that might fit her. That's the one... Um, I don't remember what that was. The one from. who does the opera. Oh, Operetta. Uh-huh. I think this is hers. See, these names that are in my head is what, you know, They're covers up all the be. math and the science that I learned. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, no, I'll, you want to memorize all the Monster High characters, don't you? <laughs> and maybe your hands don't really no. fit in there. Really? Are your hands? Her hands are wider. She's got little tiny mm -hmm. hands. Hers definitely are. They I mean, the spread open. Thumbs might push in a little bit. Yeah. Oh well. They're kind of. Well, let's see. They're the same. They're rubbery. But if you look at her hand compared to that hand. Yeah. It's very different. She has a longer hand, so I don't think that's going to go on her. But it would be at least a decent length for her. Mm-hmm. I just like the operetta. The operetta was lots of fun. <laughs> And she always had a retro kind of outfit, like a, a 1940s mm -hmm. outfit or something, you know, really cool. Rockabilly. Yeah. yeah, her hand does not go in there. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I thought you might. Oh, well, and that one is definitely not yeah, Monster High. Yeah, any sleeveless ones might, would fit. So, I mean, you could try and have fun. I mean, I, I keep this whole suitcase here with, it's got all the creative monster heads mm -hmm. and stuff and bodies, just because you're, you're supposed to have fun with those. Right, that was the yeah. whole point of having fun and swift, swatch, blah. That was the whole point, switching. having switching, being able to switch bodies and heads and arms and legs. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted to make somebody totally strange, it was okay. I forgot this about the three-eyed one. See, this one has See, at least the gold this, on it. I like better because it looks... It's like, like a mummy. A, it looks like something that's wrapped and there's detail and there's paint. This just looks weird. Yeah. Because so, it's on her skin and it's skin tone. If it was painted white or something, mm -hmm. it would make so much more sense. But it's not painted. It's just what her skin is all wrinkly right. here. And it's here. all the way up too. Yeah. Which is really nice. So that's when you look at the bodies, this is what, what it is. And yeah. yes, she has curvature of the spine really bad. <laughs> but um I yeah. mean, she looks like a mummy. Right, that wrapping, because it's a different, it's not a different color from her skin so much, but like if this was just a different color, right. it would be a completely different The specks story. of gold on there, instead mm -hmm. they want you to look at the sleeves and just assume that you're seeing it right. everywhere else. But um, it's interesting, so I know the clothes aren't going to fit you, don't worry, I'm not going to even try putting them on you. That was a very short segment. It was a very short <laughs> segment. Um, but this is the introduction to 2022's uh, Monster Highline. We're missing, I believe they also released Laguna and Claudine. I still don't like the, the Laguna. I haven't seen Claudine in, anywhere. I think Laguna, I might have missed out at the store when I got uh, Gulia. Just Laguna doesn't look like Laguna, which is the thing. She's got, yeah, strange markings mm -hmm. out on her forehead. And I right. Very and fond then of it. there should also be a deuce. Coming out. Yeah, he's supposed to be, I thought, a special and exclusive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For like, Walmart, I thought. Yeah, in a, in a two set with Claudine, maybe? Mm, or Frankie? I don't know if there's a... One yeah, of those. Why? <laughs> well, in the movie, Cleo and Deuce are not together. Yeah, I know. So, and he he's wants to get with Claudine in the movie, and vice versa. Okay, but why? Just with her arm. But why? I don't know why. It's weird. <laughs> why does Cleo have elf ears? I don't know. But they're cute. <laughs> they are cute, yeah. And, and you definitely can notice them. I mean, when what you think Gullia? of it, well, Gullia Gullia has does similar too. ears. I think maybe they all have elf ears. <laughs> does Frankie have it? Frankie has, it's a bigger head, but yes. The hers are ro more rounded, I feel like. So I don't think Frankie's are the same. So you can dress them up as an elf. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But I will, that's not, they're not going to pounce my favorites, though. These mm -hmm. are still my favorites. Yeah, I definitely still have some Monster High that, I have a ton of Monster High that are in boxes, but I have kept some of them out because I do think aesthetically, like, they're just really pretty. They are. 
So what Monster High have you decided to shop for? What have you found in the wild? In the wild, mm -hmm. yeah. Not much fun in the wild right What's now. What's your opinion of this 2022 relaunch? Well, let's hope Rainbow High gives them some space on the shelf. <laughs> it's true. Every time my mom has found them, they've been like sharing space on an end cap with some random thing. Yet the Rainbow High has had like two different aisles mm -hmm. of dolls. Yeah. So let us know what your thoughts are on this. We'll probably be back with some of the other dolls because, you know, we're gluttons for punishment here. We are, definitely. <laughs> but, but it's your turn to buy next Yeah, time. <laughs> I'll get Laguna and uh, the other ones we are, are missing. But, yeah, let us know what your thoughts are. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.